So here we are in Key Largo, Florida, preparing for Hurricane Irma. The boats and businesses here on this canal have strung lines all over the place like a spider web. And what that does is it, it pulls them away from the pilings and hopefully keeps the boats just away from everything tied, you know, to a... So here we are in Key Largo, Florida. We're preparing for Hurricane Irma. And you can see these boats here, these dive and snorkel boats in Key Largo have prepared themselves the best they can. See all the lines everywhere? It's like spider webbed across the canal. You want to keep the boats away from the pilings if you can. So these guys did a really good job, uh, the best they can do. The only thing that you could do better than this to save your boat is basically if you, if you got the boat out of here. So wish everyone here the best of luck. And Hurricane Irma is about 24 hours away. So here we are in Key Largo, Florida. And you can see all the diving and snorkeling boats here have tied up in this canal the best they can. It's like a spider web look here with all the lines strapped across the canal. But the point is, is to keep all the boats away from the pilings and the other boats. You don't want the lines to be too tight because if the surge comes through, you need to be able to have some slack. But then again, you don't want too much slack because the wind's gonna be howling and you kinda want your boat to stay in place. So it's kind of a tricky, a tricky thing to, to figure out exactly how to put the lines. But it looks like these guys here did a really good job and um, so we'll see what happens here Ride right out Hurricane Irma. So here we are in Key West, Florida and this is the famous Duval Street. And you can see all the businesses are boarded up. Everybody's prepared, everybody's off the streets. And we're just bunkered down waiting for the arrival of Hurricane Irma. So here we are in the famous Duval Street in Key West, Florida. And you can see all the businesses have shuttered and boarded up. Everybody's off the streets. We're bunkered down waiting for the arrival of Hurricane Irma. The winds are starting to really pick up now, way ahead of Hurricane Irma. We're getting at least 40 miles sustained winds here in Key West, Florida. And the surf is picking up, the waves are picking up. And very soon this storm surge is going to start to rise all over the island of Key West. So here we are in Key West, and the plan is to leave the HERV, the Hurricane Eyewall Research Vehicle, over in this open area here where the wind will be unobstructed coming off the water. And I will put this pole up soon with the anemometer. It will go straight up, it will lock into place. It will leave it here and record the winds for the duration of Hurricane Irma. We could get a direct hit here. We could get missed to the west. We probably won't get missed to the east, but that's also a possibility. At this point, we're definitely not going to get a miss of the effects. We are about to get some serious wind here. And this serious wind is going to go all the way up the coast, the west coast, up to Tampa, Fort Myers. Look at that. as it rips off the ocean here. We're gonna have to strap it down so it doesn't get flipped over. But the plan is if we take a direct hit here, we will record the wind and barometric pressure with calibrated RM Young sensors. With the help of my friend John Bowser, we created the herb. And this is our opportunity now to put her to the test. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned.
equipment, record data and wind pressure. Today's going to be the real test for the curve. The wind will come ripping straight across this ocean here. Here we are in Key West, Florida. The winds are starting to pick up. And the plan is to bring the herb over here where it's wide open and record the wind as it rips off the ocean here. We're going to have to strap it down so it doesn't get flipped over. But the plan is if we take a direct hit here, we will record the wind and barometric pressure with calibrated RM Young sensors. With the help of my friend John Bowser, we created the herb. And this is our opportunity now to put her to the test. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. So here we are in Duval Street in Key West, Florida. We're currently awaiting the arrival of Hurricane Irma. And we're going to be riding it out here at the La Concha Hotel in Key West, located on Duval Street. So this is where we will be riding out the hurricane. Very constructed, solid concrete structure. I feel confident that we'll be okay in this building. We're gonna lose communications most likely, but we will be okay. We're gonna leave it now, we won't see it till after the hurricane. And this is where we left it, it's windy as heck any already. So here we are at the marina in Key West. You can hear the wind screaming between the sails, or I should say the mast. So here we are in Key West, Florida, and you can hear the wind just screaming, blowing through these sailboats here. Hurricane Irma's presence is definitely being felt. So here we are standing in front of the famous Sloppy Joe's Bar in Key West, Florida, located on Duval Street. It's basically a ghost town here. Everything's boarded up. We've got a couple locals riding by at the last minute, but hopefully they're getting ready to get into some sort of structure. This wind is about to get ferocious through here. Uh, I'm expecting at least 12, 15 foot storm surge possibly coming into this area, which means it would be coming right down Duval Street right in front of the famous Sloppy Joe's bar. So we're hanging on here, we're getting ready for a, for a possibly direct hit. And uh, we got a good building, a good structure, so we'll try to keep updates coming as, as long as we have cell phone service. So here we are in front of the famous Sloppy Joe's on Duval Street in Key West. You can see it's all boarded up in preparations for Hurricane Irma. I'm not too sure what this structure is going to look like after the storm surge and extreme winds rip through Duval Street. Uh, this is a really sad event getting ready to take place. All of Duval Street is basically boarded up, ready to, ready to ride this one out. Uh, this could be the worst hurricane this city has ever seen. It's very likely that's going to happen. So we got to pray for a wobble away from here so we don't get any kind of any direct hits. Just keep praying.
starting to have docks break off. A lot of the piers are going to be compromised here very soon when the waves pick up. You can see there's a small piece of dock floating already. And this is very, very early on. The sea is very angry. You can see that they're actually they're tied together but they're drifting. Oh no. There's, I hope there's nobody in those sailboats. They must have broke free from their uh, either anchor or they were tied to a mooring or uh, a piling but they have broken free. Those two boats are floating away together. landmark and we're hearing this giant waves crashing on top of it so we caught a ride here on a pickup truck from a local tourist I'm sorry uh, from a local and he's bringing us to the monument right now
just trying to wait long enough to see one more big wave crashing on this pier. It's going to crash right along and go all the way down. Here it comes. We're going to get one here. Small one, but they're they're getting bigger by the minute, so we're going to have to retreat. Let's go. Water pushes out and then it sucks right back in this drain here. There's a lot of suction going on underneath in the plumbing and the pipes. The storm surge is going to come up soon. And these are the kind of dangers if you're walking in storm surge. If these manhole covers float, you could be walking and just fall straight down into one of these manholes. So this is why we don't walk in the water if we can't see what we're stepping in. surge.
Watch this awning. This awning might end up going. Coming in faster.
There's the herb. That's our first sighting since the hurricane. <laughs> we're gonna go over there and get some wind measurements. And basically we're up on this bridge, strapped it down and there's the Boca Chica Bridge. The Boca Chica Bridge. And I picked the right bridge, the right side of the bridge, because that's where the wind was really howling. Yep. Boca Chica Key. damage to the north side of Key West where the onshore wind came in. There's a lot of sailboats that broke free. A lot of tree damage. There's a lot of storm surges that hasn't receded yet. So here we are in Summerlin Key in the Florida Keys and I spoke to a few people here and they got around six to eight foot storm surge as well as they got the extreme winds from the eye wall of Hurricane Hermine and you can just look around and most of the damage here is storm surge damage with wind damage but when you see heavy items that have been picked up and moved a long distance typically that's storm surge. So here we are in Summerlin Key uh, where they definitely experienced around six to eight feet storm surge. And it's just a lot of debris in the road. Luckily, most of these houses are on stilts, and that's for a reason. So here we are in Summerlin Key, and I've been speaking to some of the people who rode it out here, and it looks like they got around six to eight feet, possibly storm surge, um, is the, what I'm coming up with. They definitely got storm surge. I mean, there's stuff. That's how this boat got here. And this is just littered with debris everywhere all the way up and down this road. But the structures more or less made it because they're built on stilts. And that's why they do that. So it eases the pressure that's getting pushed onto the building. The water will just flow underneath the house, you know, around the stilts. So they withstood it pretty good, like even this wooden structure. But they did have storm surge. And I think most of this damage is that storm surge which is more deadly and lethal than wind. So these fish are actually still alive. They got caught in the storm surge. 
And now that the surge is drying up, we're seeing all these fish left behind. So they're clearing the roadways here in the lower Florida Keys. The storm surge brought all this debris and seaweed and stuff up on the road. And so they're clearing it so people can get out at, in and out of here. And apparently that guy was upset with me because I'm driving through, but I mean, what am I supposed to do not drive through? This is Camp Sawyer in the lower Florida Keys. And they just started clearing the road, but it was full of debris here. You couldn't pass yesterday. So they finally cleared it. So we're trying to make our way out of the Keys. We're currently at mile marker 34. So we had some pretty high storm surge came through here and took out the sidewalk, eroded part of the road right up to the edge here. They've cleared it since with bulldozers, but this was all big giant rocks and part of the highway as the surge came up from the ocean here over US-1 and back out to sea. So this is US-1 and it's completely full of sand, like it's a beach. Look at this. Look at all this sand. There's actually sand dunes here I'm driving over. This is insane. Wow, the surge, I can't believe how high up the surge came. So here we are at Snappers in Key Largo, Florida. 
and the storm surge came all the way up inside snappers blew out all these windows and completely destroyed my favorite restaurant in Key Largo I can't believe this this place is just trashed and out here there used to be a bar out here and it's completely gone <sighs> completely gone this was a huge bar with all kinds of stuff and all kinds of life and energy and it's been washed away this is all of it here just devastated here we are in Key Largo, Florida and, and the guys were already fixing the signs probably trying to take it down because it's dangerous so it's hanging off to the side so I'm glad to see they're already starting to work on things here so here we are in Key Largo, Florida and in this community here, just look at the storm surge, brought all this seaweed up. You can see it came all the way up to here. And it's just full of debris and all kinds of things that were washed up shore. It's unbelievable that we had storm surge all the way up in Key Largo. The center was like 60 miles from here, but it just shows you the power of water and why when, when uh, we're warning you about storm surge, I mean, this stuff is deadly. Here we are in Key Largo, Florida, assessing the damage. And in this neighborhood here, they had storm surge that came all the way up from the Atlantic Ocean, went underneath these houses and it threw their stilts, crashing into all these other houses here. Uh, this is why it's so important in the Florida Keys to have a house on stilts, because storm surge is a major issue. Here we are in Key Largo, Florida, and we're assessing the damage. And just look at this. Storm surge washed up all this debris, came over here from the Atlantic Ocean, washed up underneath these houses that have stilts, ran straight up here and crashed into these other houses and left all this debris everywhere. Unbelievable here, unbelievable. So here we are in the upper Florida Keys and the storm surge came off the ocean there, crashed into this area and just wiped things clean from the front edge of this property. And it pushed everything back. There you can see the surge line of where all the debris was pushed up. But these things were just wiped clean. The road, the asphalt, look at this, roads, uh, chunks of road. And there used to be trailers and buildings out here. And just look across the way. Look over there. Just wiped clean these trailers. So here we are in the upper Florida Keys. And trailers and buildings and even the road, the asphalt, was completely removed from this area and pushed up into these other trailers. Look at this concrete block building. The block came down and the surge came all the way up. If you look over there, you could see where all the destruction is right along the edge where the surge was pounding against these trailers. But even these trailers further up that are still standing were completely underwater so they're destroyed this is a complete loss to this area here just wiped clean so here we are in the upper florida keys total devastation to this trailer park where the storm surge came up rushed across here and just plowed into these trailers complete destruction even the trailers that are left standing were under complete water or at least mostly underwater so it's a total loss here
So here we are at the Postcard Inn in Isla Morada, formerly Holiday Isle. As I grew up as a kid, I came to this place all the time. And the surge came all the way through Holiday Isle, gutted a lot of the area, and left the debris across the road all along US-1. As far as you can see, there's storm surge debris everywhere. And all this stuff originated from Holiday Isle, which is over this way, down there by the water. Look at this, just coolers, pieces of the dock. Just all floated in the extreme surge across the street. And ended up here. So here we are at the famous Robbie's Marina that's known for feeding the tarpon. And this is what's left of the dock. Um, this is you, before you could walk out on this dock and you pay a fee, you get some fish food and you feed the tarpon. But this dock is uh, completely destroyed now. Storm surge came ripping through here, probably six feet or so, and just destroyed the dock. So this is this this is the famous Robbie's Marina, correct? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, what is left of it? Um, but we're ready to start rebuilding and just make it better than the original. You know, just recreate it. Yeah. And it's. Um, I understand this is a family business. It is. It's family owned and operated. My grandfather Robbie and my father Michael started it in 1976, and they've just carried the tradition on. I'm third generation, and I'm now the general manager. And I'm 21, so, and you see behind me my 14 year old brother and 16 year old sister working very hard. Um, we're a very hard working family and we care a lot about this business. We put everything into it. So we're ready to do it again. Yeah. And now, did you ride out the storm? Were you here during Irma's Wrath? Oh, we were during Irma's Wrath, and it was, it was intense. It was intense. I don't want to go through that again. What was it like? I mean, can you just describe it? Um, the one thing that was really crazy to me was the sounds. It sounded like a woman screaming at the top of her lungs outside. How, you know, the wind howling and, and just seeing the trees like at a permanent bent because the wind won't stop. I've never seen that. And I've never seen like rain and a huge windstorm at the, at the same time. It was, it was very intense. Um, the whole building was shaking that I was in. Power, no power. Um, we had a little bit of water. It was really dark because the storm hit us through the night and then through the morning. It felt like the storm was a long time. It was very hard, but we're here. So we're fortunate to have what we do have. Well, there you hear at a famous uh, Robbie's Marina here in the Keys. They're gonna rebuild. They'll be back very soon. They'll be welcoming tourists with open arms. Uh, just look at the wildlife around here already. Yeah. You got the pelicans and the a lot of birds around here, but this was the famous dock that you could walk out on and feed the tarpon. Um, so they're going to have to rebuild the dock. You know, there's definitely some rebuilding going on here, but this community is very strong and this place will be back here at Robbie's Marina very soon. So here we are at the famous Robbie's Marina in the Florida Keys. And they had some storm surge that did come through here, damaged their docks. This is the dock we used to walk out on uh, to feed the tarpon. But I just spoke to the owners and they're already cleaning up. They're gonna get this place back together as quick as they can. Uh, they're gonna get the dock built first so they can still welcome tourists to come out and feed the tarpon. As you can see, the wildlife is still here. I'm sure the tarpon are here too. So, already cleaning up here in the Florida Keys. So there's the Atlantic Ocean. You got beautiful scenery, you live on the water. But when hurricanes come, the problem is storm surge. And the surge got, came through here, it rose, came rushing through here. 
There's all these shells and um, kind of marine life on the ground here. And anyways, all those waves came up and crashed into this house and completely wiped it clean. There was a house here. So there's a view of the Atlantic Ocean. But during Hurricane Irma, the surge came up, rushed in here, plowed into this house and completely leveled it. There's nothing left of this house. Just wiped clean. If I jump down over here, you can see all these shells and sponges and things that were brought up into this person's yard. They're all over the place. Beautiful shells. There's a was a hermit crab, and I think it's, it has died. But this, this is one of the dangers of living right on the water. So here we are in US-1 in the upper Florida Keys. And look at all this debris left in the side of the road from storm surge. Came all the way from the Atlantic Ocean and just gutted people's houses and underneath their houses and all the debris landed here. There's a building over there that was washed up. Incredible. This used to be a beautiful island that folks would pull up on. People would go camping. And a lot of the islands would go to the bay. check on the no-name pub and on the way there I encountered this truck I guess they parked it here maybe and it just got flipped over but this island of Big Pine Key was thrashed really hard there's a lot of storm surge damage here there's a lot of um, wind damage as well they saw some pretty high winds go through here so we're gonna check in on no-name key so here's the no-name pub on Big Pine Key on no name key and it overall it seems intact this is the famous pub that has all the dollar bills stapled inside you know the trees are basically halfway uprooted um, there's a lot of tree damage in the back of the place but I'm happy to report that the building of no name pub is still standing they probably had some storm surge come through this area but overall I think they're very lucky um, if you look in the back of the no-name pub though, wow. So here we are at the no-name pub on no-name key, Big Pine Key. And overall the building's still standing. Great news to report there. Probably had some storm surge come through. But overall the building's standing. Um, this is the famous bar that has all the, the dollar bills inside. Everyone staples to the roof and the the railings and they sign it and there's got to be over a million dollars in here with a uh, dollar bill stapled to the wall so good news here it's still here so here I am in a big pine key and I found a key deer. This poor guy must have went through the wrath of Hurricane Irma. Doesn't seem to be injured. In fact, he's coming right up to me. So, it's good to see some signs of life out here. Hopefully the other key deer are okay. Are okay. So here we are in Big Pine Key and I found a key deer. He must have went through 
the wrath of Hurricane Irma. So it's great to see signs of life out here. Hopefully the, the other key deer are okay. And um, he's probably confused. So here we are in Big Pine Key and I found a key deer. I wanted to come down here and see if I could find some signs of life with the key deer down here. And I'm so happy to, to encounter this one here. I've seen about three other ones so far. Um, but this is a good sign that the key deer hopefully made it through. So to show you the power of water, during Hurricane Irma, the storm surge came over US-1 and came crashing into this building. It eroded away the, the, the highway or the wherever you pulled into this uh, uh, hotel here. Look at this. Just eroded it all away, left this one little island here, and then just a completely collapsed and destroyed building. Storm surge came all the way over US-1 and just scoured out this building, the road around it. Look at this, it just left an island of asphalt and it just collapsed the entire building. So here we are in Isla Mirada where the storm surge was very fierce. It came off the Atlantic, crashed into this hotel here, collapsed it, scoured out the land all around it, created an island of asphalt right here. Just unbelievable what this storm surge did.